Now let's talk about how to send text messages. Now right next to your phone app, you'll have a text messaging app. Tap on that app and this is where all your messages will come in and also where you will send messages. Let's start with how to send a message. In the bottom right corner, I'm going to tap on this icon to start a new message. And the first thing you'll need to put in is who you're sending the message to. So you can either put in the phone number of the person, or if the person is already saved in your contacts, you can simply type their name. I'm going to just type in the phone number, 323. All right. So what you'll notice is I've typed in the phone number and a contact came up because this number is actually already saved into my phone. So I can either hit done or I can tap on the contact right here and have it load up there. Now you can continue to add more contacts and turn it into a group message by simply typing in another phone number. And you can continue to add contacts as many, uh, I wanna say uh, 10 or 15, you can add in to make a group message. Uh, once you finish adding all your contacts, you're gonna hit the done button in the bottom right corner. And now you'll enter your message here. So I can either say, hi, how are you? And I can hit this button to send off the message or I can tap on this button to add an emoji. Maybe you want to add uh, a smiley face. You can do that. And if you hit the drop down button here, um, all your options will go away. You'll have your message and then you can hit this button to send it. Now, if you want to add a picture to your message, you'll tap on this arrow here and you'll have some icons. This first icon is to add a picture you've already taken or that's already on the phone. The second icon is if you want to take a picture of something right now, this will bring up your camera, allow you to take a picture and then it will add it right to the message. Or you can hit the plus as the third option and you have these other uh, things you can attach to your message. You can attach your location. Maybe you're uh, at an event and you are trying to show someone exactly where you are. If you tap location, it will add your location to the message. You can send that. Um, you can add a video, audio, add a contact, add a calendar invite, you can add a voice recording message. You have all these different options. Now, the most common option that most folks will use is adding an image. You can also add a picture here. So tap here, and then it will bring up different pictures that are already on your phone. Let's say you want to attach uh, this picture. So because we tapped it, it automatically added it to our message. And now what's gonna be sent is, hi, how are you? The emoji, and we can hit this to send off our message. Now another cool option is to send someone a voice recording. I can record a message right now by holding down on this button here. If I hold that button, it's gonna start recording a message you know, instead of you typing good morning, you can just say, hey, good morning. I hope you have a great day. Let go of the button. And it's going to attach an audio recording to the message. And I can tap this button to play it first before I send it like this. Turn the volume up. You know, instead of you typing good morning, you can just say, hey, good morning. I hope now, you might listen to the message and say, ah, I'd rather not send that. No problem. Tap on the red X and that'll get rid of that voice message. But that's a really cool option you have to send messages. You can also use what is called voice to text. You're going to tap on the microphone in the bottom left corner and then you can talk and it will basically write down everything you say into the message like this. Well, first, uh, the first time you press it, it will ask you to give the phone permission for the microphone to record your voice. So we're going to tap while using the app. And now, as I talk, it's going to load in everything I say into the message. So you can send a nice long message. Hey, I hope you have a great day. Happy Monday. When you're done, simply tap on the microphone again. So it will stop recording. 
And now your whole message was typed out for you without you having to enter anything. And always go back in and proofread it because sometimes it will mix up the words. So you just want to make sure it's exactly how you want it to, to read. And then hit that button to send it off. And there you go. So that's how you send a voice message or how you send a text and different things you can do uh, within sending a message. Now, we're going to use our back button here to go back to the main screen. We're on the main screen. And let me show you what it will look like when someone sends you a message. So I just got a text message in. It's going to show up as a pop-up first. And in the app here, you'll see a little red number next to the message. So this is a new voice message. So if I want to read the whole message, I'm going to tap on that contact and I can see that, oh, someone sent me a message and it says hi. If I want to reply, I'm going to tap in the box here and tapping in the box will bring up the keyboard. I can type my message and then once I type my message, I can hit that button to send it back. So that's a, a brief overview of how to send and how to read text messages. If the video was helpful, make sure you bump that like button down below. Also, here is going to be a playlist of more videos on the 835 to help you continue learning. And you'll find another great video here as well. Thanks for watching. Take care. And as always, have a good one.